Hey, Nightwalker, why so blue? Uh, you know, I've just been stressed out a lot lately. Oh, I know how that goes. I get stressed out once in a while, too. And when I get stressed out, I know it's hard to function, I don't want to go to work, and everything just seems like it's so much. Yeah, that's pretty much how it gets. But, you know, I'll get through it. Everybody's gone through it, and I'm sure I'm going to get through this one, too. It's not my first time. Oh no, I get stressed out a lot, but sometimes you gotta think of the happy stuff to get you happy again and to get your mind off the stress. Yeah, 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 I, you're right there. Alright everybody, this is the Nightwalker, welcome back. That was my little puppetry, I hope you don't mind. I figured, all right, let me get you all flipped around here, right, there we go. Figured usually I'm just some shadow sitting on the ground, but this time I made my little blue guy here. Look, even, he's kind of like me, doesn't have a face, he just kind of glares off of everything. Well, today I wanted to talk to you a little about stress. Alright, I think we all know stress. We know stress personally. We know stress every day of our lives. Now, the thing about stress is it doesn't go away. Stress is with us every single day, and it can come in two different forms. You have good stress and you have bad stress. Here's a nice image of my parking lot here. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to bring you over here, and we'll look at little blue Nightwalker and whoever this chick is next to him. All right. Let me see about turning this here flash off. Eh, we'll just go with the flash. So basically, we all encounter stress. You have good stress and bad stress. Good stress comes when you have things happen to you, like... Uh, having a new baby, or you're planning a vacation that gets a little stressful, or you're heading into a new job. I mean, these might be good things, but they're still stressful because it's something different and something new. Now, the other kind of stress that we're all more familiar with, that hits us all pretty hard. Stress is one of the leading causes of high blood pressure. It's one of the leading causes of heart disease depression, uh, a few other things, high cholesterol, stress can physically make your body hurt. I'm going to walk around a little bit and with my little blue guy here. Maybe I'll set him up and right about there. All right, so there's a little blue guy. Now, stress can tear you apart, physically and mentally. It can break you down to the point to where every day you can't even function because you're so stressed out, you just don't care anymore. we got to find a way to defeat stress. we got to understand the fact that we can get through it. Okay, Everybody does face stress. We all face it in different ways. We all can handle different amounts. And it's only a matter of time before it does get the better of us now and then. When you think to the way society is today and the fast pace and... The economy is so bad and you can't afford things and things break and it's just one thing after the next. It can get to the point to where you want to give up. But I'm here to tell you that you don't have to give up. There is a brighter tomorrow. You will be able to find a way through this. Stress, it eats you alive. And it changes who you are. And it affects the rest of your life. If you're stressed out about work, you bring that home, and next thing you know, you're not treating your spouse and your kids the way that you know you should. It's something that we all do, and we don't even recognize that we do it. We need to get to the point to where our kids are getting the best us that we can, our wives, our husbands, our good friends. We're not snapping at them and taking their heads off. There are ways around stress. Well, not even really around it, but through it. you got to understand that no matter how much you worry about something, it's not going to change the outcome. You've made it thus far. You've overcome so many things that have stressed you out in the past, and you still made it through anyhow. You, We tend to worry about things that we can't even control. If you know that you're doing the best that you can, then you got to believe that the cards are going to fall where they're going to fall and handle it situation by situation. 
If you start looking at the big picture of everything that stresses you, you're going to burn out quickly. If you take things situation by situation, work stays at work. If you have a problem at work, you fix it while you're at work. If work is the problem, you do what you got to do to find another job. If you can't find a job, well, that's something you're going to have to work on on your home. But again, how can you stress about it? Yes, you have bills. You have the bill collectors. I understand the tension. But sitting there and worrying about it, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Unless you're thinking of it in a way of being active against it and saying, you know what? This is what I got to do. I got to go to school. I got to get another job. I got to work a little harder. I got to do A, B, C, or D. Then you take that plan and you go forward with it. You no longer have to stress about it. Now you can simply do something about it. You don't have to be quiet about your stress. Stress is a silent killer. There are medications that you can use to help you calm down a little bit and handle stress a little better. There's talking to your friends, talking to your family, going to a doctor, your family doctor, a psychologist, a psychiatrist, you name it, there's options out there for you. The only option I don't want you to think you have is to sit there quietly, do nothing about it, and take years off your life. I've spent many years stressed out about money and family and everything else that I really couldn't control to where now I'm to the point, you know what, yes, money sucks. We all have our bills. What can you do about it past working your tail off? So I know I make that sound easy. Oh, don't worry about things. Don't stress about things. But that's not the point. The point is just... Try to find a way to handle it that's more creative, more productive, I should say, and less detrimental to your health. Because if you get sick and you can't work or you're unhappy all the time, you're going to start destroying your relationships. You're going to do more damage than whatever you're stressing about is going to do to you. It's hard. I know this. But you know what? You have a support group now. You have the night walkers here behind you. Come to us, rant and rave, vent all you want. We're there for you. We've been through the same problems. We can empathize with you. We understand exactly what it's like. And maybe it'll help you out a little bit knowing that you're not alone. This video is going a little bit long. I'm already well past seven minutes. Like I said before, I don't want to take up too much of your time with each one of these videos. I do want to thank you guys for coming and watching my videos all the time. Uh, I appreciate every single like and every single comment and every single share. Please subscribe to me. Uh, this way I don't have to worry about Facebook not showing people when I'm posting things because I'm still having a hard time getting these videos out to everybody. But just slowly but surely. Don't forget, come on over to the page. It's thenightwalkersinternational.com or... Facebook backslash the Nightwalkers International. We're always here for you. We have many different programs or groups that we're running. It's all for you. Feel free to share everything that we have. And we're going to start taking a little bit of a different turn on society. We're going to start bringing it back and making happier people instead of more negative people. And if I have to make more little blue guys to dance around the videos, I will. All right, I hope you enjoyed that fact. Or not fact, but my little play there for the in the beginning it, it's time to become happier people it's time to make society a good thing again jimmy mitchell this one's for you buddy it's time to go nocturnal <laughs>